Hello there, young man. You Purdue? Grant Purdue. You like the place? I'm thinking... Yeah, so how are you mixed up with Marcano's organization? Friend, I own and run department stores. But with this economy, well, I've got a lot of extra inventory, clothes, electronics, you name it. An old friend, Artie Higgins, says to me, Grant, it's all insured. Let me take it off your hands. You mean you let him rob you? My trucks, yeah. It was just supposed to be a one-time deal, but heck, Artie just won't stop. I can't take the fall here. Where's Artie take the trucks? He never told me, but last time we talked, I got the impression he was going to offload them to someone else. Uh, uh, what do you call it? A uh, uh, fence? Grant, if I find your stuff, it's likely going up in flames. Well, whatever you have to do to stop Artie. My gosh darn insurance has dropped me. Says I'm high risk. Can you believe that? <sighs> you bring me that truck, there's money in it for you. Artie's got some of his men working around South Downs. Thieves, all of them. I'll see what I can dig up. In the meantime, you stay out of sight. I really think you should see what Artie's guys know about my trucks. Tell your wife they were TVs. You tell your wife you want to hide 50 boxes in your garage. Come tell me she doesn't have any questions. You could have said it was sugar or books or something. Shit, that would have been perfect. Sylvia don't read. Just get them back. I don't care how. Who's that? I want to know about Artie's hijacking racket. The, the, the boss had a huge haul he's been planning to sell off. I, I know where it's gonna go down. You run with me now. Time to die! Show him the motherfucker! Said so. I'm boxed. 